I have always had an interest to have a greater leadership role in the party. And I want to say that there's a leadership team. There, there's a party leader, but there's a leadership team. So uh, the, the party leader has resigned, and I, I'm grateful that he made the right decision for, um, for the party and, and definitely for himself. But there is a first deputy. We have a second deputy who is also a woman. We have our vice chairman. We have our chairman. There's a team that holds this together for the next three months until we can nominate and agree upon a new leader. So the vacuum is um, not as extensive as people may seem. And we have we had already charted a way forward for the party. So we, we know what needs to get done. Um, so um, it's not going to be easy. But again, I think there is a firm commitment um, by all 31 um, to do the work that is necessary. and. It's simply that working at it every day, every day, and being um, true to ourselves and being accountable to the Belizean people. I think um, my work speaks for itself. My work in tourism, my work in trade, uh, my work in investment, my work in building out uh, um, entrepreneurship ecosystem for this country. Um, all my life I've been building, right? I have been in the business of building um, my ability to um, lead my consensus, to, to, to gather some consensus. Um, I think that my reputation, um, my professional and personal integrity has remained intact. Um, I love people. That's just innately who I am. And I think that will come across as I get to meet with delegates, as they get to know me, as I get to know them. Um, ultimately, though, the delegates do uh, decide who they see fit to lead the United Democratic Party. And whatever that decision is, I always remain respectful of the views and opinions of those who are the decision makers in the United Democratic Party.